So hello and welcome to the next episode of Sam TV today of Indian cricketer Deep Das Gupta is us. Hello sir how are you? Very good how are you? I'm fine sir. So how's the condition out there with you being in lockdown? I mean uh, it's tough. I mean it's it's tough for everyone. Uh I think the first two weeks were very tough and then slowly you start to kind of get used to the new normal and then now it's again getting a little tougher now. You know because it's been almost 3 months now. so uh yeah from that perspective yeah i mean this is the time when you really have to you know, stay strong and push it through yeah that's great so i saw your photo obviously going to the eden gardens after long day you are posting a selfie with that <laughs> yeah i mean the other thing is the last few months have made you realize you know a lot of things i mean things that you taken for granted uh you know things like that and what means to you what does not have that kind of meaning uh and you know the fact that there are so many things that you can you can actually live without okay that's cool so we are here so that i can ask you some questions let's see how much you remember from your past games yeah i'm i'm bad i'm bad with my uh, my memory is terrible anyways go ahead uh, okay let's see so my first question is uh, in which year you made your test debut for india uh 2001 october 2001 and it was against south africa okay uh, who took your wicket in your debut test match in the first innings uh was it shon pollock yeah it is it was shon pollock and caught by mark boucher behind the wickets yeah yeah I'm, i was a little confused i remember i got caught behind i forgot whether it was the first innings or the second innings yeah okay. Against South Africa in October 2001, you also made your ODI debut. Can you name on which stadium the match was being played? Right. Uh, I made my debut at Wanderers, where I did not bat. So the first time I actually batted was at uh, Centurion in the second ODI. Yeah. Okay. So debut was in Wanderers. Yeah. Wanderers. Yes. It was in Wanderers. Okay. Three for three. A good one. Uh, how many catches you have taken for India in Test matches? uh now numbers i'm not good at i've i've never been i've never been an individual uh, who looked at my numbers while i was playing or even after i was playing so because i think numbers are important but they don't tell you the whole story so uh now that you're asking me numbers i am clueless i have no idea okay it was 18 18 okay Okay. And how many catches uh, you have taken in your domestic matches, including all first class, least and all? <laughs> uh, uh, let's say 160, 170. No, have some confidence. It's more than that. Uh, 210. Okay, it's 214. 214. Oh, okay. All right. Ah, uh, now easy one. What is your highest first class score? Ah, uh, one seventy. It came against Baroda semi finals of a Ranji Trophy. Ah, uh, one seventy four, four seventy one in in the early seventies. Ah, uh, yeah, it's one seventy one. That was a good innings by you, though. Okay. Ah, uh, as an opening batsman, it's difficult to stay till the end. uh still how many not outs you have in your whole career which includes indian matches and for the domestic also oh lord i have no idea i have absolutely no idea uh 10 15 no it's more than that again uh 25 <laughs> okay it's 24 24 okay cool yeah, fair enough ah uh, interesting yeah uh when was the first cricket world cup played 1975 yeah it is 1975 and who won the 1999 world cup uh 1999 england world cup was oh uh, you dropped the world cup son uh, yeah i remember that uh, steve wog and yeah australian yeah it is australia uh currently uh, who is test ranking rank 1 2 and 3 uh interesting because 
India, I read the other day, was not number one anymore. India has dropped down to two or three, which is which is amazing because uh, there hasn't been any international cricket for two months. Uh, India is uh, at three. India is at three. Okay, India is at three. Let's say England somewhere there. No, England is not there. Australia at one. Okay. India at three. Okay, Australia. Okay, so it's Australia. And let me think. Who played the last series? Okay. New Zealand won the series against India, correct? Right? So yeah. they must be somewhere there. Is New Zealand there in the top three? Ah, uh, yeah. It's New Zealand on rank two. All right. Cool. Okay, mm. so not a good one. Seven out of ten, correct? So, cool. oh, you are Man United fan? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, same here also. <laughs> Fantastic, but you're wearing this. Both actually, both of us are wearing blue. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we have some fan questions got for you. Ah, uh, who is sure. the most funniest guy you have played with? There are actually quite a few. I mean, and everyone has their own different sense of humor. Ah, uh, but somebody who would always joke around in the dressing room would be people like Harbhajan, ah, uh, Viru. Ah, uh, Savag had his own brand of humor. And uh, so Piru would be like that. UV would be like that. Ashish Nehra uh, would always be, you know, chirpy and having fun. You know, such by as in Sachin Bhai. I mean, he too uh, had a had a, you know, has has a really good sense of humor and VBS. Uh, because the idea was when I was there, uh, what everyone tried to do was keep the environment inside the dressing room very light. You know, as it is, there are stresses when you're playing for your country and all that. So they tried to keep. So everyone tried their best to keep that environment inside the dressing room as light as possible. And who's gonna be the serious guy for you? Ah, uh, serious in the sense. I mean, yeah. I mean, serious would be Shrinath. I think Shri Bai. Not serious, serious, but yeah, you would. You determined could, to that uh, work. Yeah, could could talk about a lot of things apart from cricket as well. Uh, Rahul Rahul Bai was again one of those people. Uh, Such Bai, I mean Sachin too was like you know, he's one person who if he if he likes something, if it if something interests him, he will go to the bottom of that. So you know, so. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say serious, serious, but uh, I mean, like I said, everyone had their both sides, you know, the the you know the, the focus and the serious sides, and also the fun side, uh, and that's where I think it depends what interest that people have. Okay, so for you, the difficult difficult track to play in, you could say the difficult uh, pitch. I, I think I've I've never played international cricket in England, but I've played a lot of cricket in England. I would say South Africa and England, and also I mean for for subcontinent players because uh, those are the conditions which we are alien to. England and South Africa, Australia. Personally, I played there. Uh, there is bounce and pace, but personally, I I if if I'm given a choice, I play pace and bounce over swing, which is you know South Africa and England. Uh, yeah, and and I would say Indian tracks are difficult as well. I mean, if you're not, if you don't know how to play spin, I mean, us players from outside the subcontinent, and they'll tell you. So yeah, it depends on what uh, what you're good at, what suits you. So I think that that uh, has a lot to say. Okay, uh, so there's a question that uh, one guy has asked for you. Uh, if you want use saliva in the ball after this COVID rule. So, how can uh, the new rule is that you can use your sweat to sign the ball? So, what's the difference between that? How can it works? You tell me. <laughs> You're a doctor, right? You tell me uh, saliva and sweat. What is the difference? I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm genuinely asking you. Is I mean, obviously we know that uh, the, the 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 virus can transfer through saliva. Can it transfer through sweat? No, the virus can't be transferred through sweat. That's it the cannot. reason they have recommend. Yeah. Okay. So I mean that was a genuine question because uh, because obviously I mean uh, saliva is banned, not sweat. Obviously they have their medical uh, uh, team as well uh, involved in this. Uh, but the thing is, listen, it is it is important. I know this is a big drawback for the fast bowlers or for the bowlers per se. 
but it is essential at this point in time because at this point in time i think safety or any point in time player safety is is much more important than anything else from that perspective yes but i think i would like to see something added to that in terms of maybe allowing vaseline for the next 12 months while you know while something like sweat is not uh, sorry uh, sal- saliva is banned you can add something to that you can uh, do something like uh, uh, maybe use new balls i mean at this point in time in test match cricket it's 80 overs and then 100 overs you can bring it down to 40 and 50 uh so yeah things like that things like that i think because at this point in time it's only a ban which is you take in something something very very important from the bowlers but i think some point in time they will think about it and give it back give something back to the bowlers at least uh yeah. and i think these rules are as of now uh and i i think there is a comma there there is not a full stop so i think it is not finished as yet you know as, yeah, yeah, as la- you- in international cricket i think you will keep adding a few things or subtracting a few things yeah last night i saw uh, a club from england lester sir you may be knowing it lcc yeah uh, yeah. yeah 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 uh, his head coach is currently now paul nixon uh, he just uh, sent me a photo through whatsapp that they are using a kaliva company it's kaliva uh, that's a gel they will be using for the nets uh, to use the ball to sign so they doesn't know how it works uh, they will try for one month you can check it also I just saw a pick of them. I mean, listen, uh, Paul Nixon. I know him very well. He was a fantastic wicketkeeper. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, and he is one of those guys who thinks outside the box. It'll be interesting, actually. Uh, that'll be interesting. Okay. So, lastly, uh, my question is: uh, Tell me your all-time Test eleven. Oh no. Uh, all-time Test eleven. You're talking about hundred plus years of of Test cricket. Uh, I think it's. it's very very difficult very very difficult uh, because there've been so many greats i mean if you'd ask me about this generation it was a different thing but over 100 years of test cricket and it's also very unfair it's extremely unfair to compare different generations uh, because there's so much of of a change i mean you know the ball the change the bat has changed playing conditions have changed rules have changed uh mindset has changed format so i i you know i'm i'm going to leave that i'm going to leave that all outside of some okay it. that's not an issue yeah okay uh, lastly uh, i want someone you to nominate for this rapid and fire for the next you're cricketing friends any of them uh you know some person i think who's very very knowledgeable and we don't get to hear a lot from uh, is my opening partner S S Das, he's from New State. I think Shiv Sundar Das yes, he is, is from Odisha. I mean, he's he's he was a brilliant batsman. I don't I don't really know how many Test matches, but he's played more than thirty on tour Test matches and all that. Uh, he's he's a coach now, and it'll be interesting to know from him uh, what he thinks about a lot of situations because he's like I said, he's also a first class coach. He's been part of the academy, I think in Odisha and some other states as well. so he would also be able to tell you about the ground realities now as of now all these new rules and everything else is very theoretical right but yep. people at the ground level might be able to kind of decipher the practicality of these rules a little better and his his cricketing brain is very very sharp so yeah i, I would, uh, would love to hear from him okay uh, so lastly anything for your fans uh all i've got to say is you know this period is is very very tough uh uh it's 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 challenging times for everyone but what we really need to do is understand if it's challenging for me it is challenging for you as well so be a little more compassionate let uh, be a little more forgiving and understanding about the person in front of you uh because we are all in it together you know it is not about me I mean, I'll I'll be healthy physically, mentally when the person in front of me is also healthy. So it's not just about me. If I have to keep okay. myself healthy, I make sure that everyone around me, the environment around me, is healthy as well. So be more compassionate, be more forgiving at these uh, uh, at, at this time of uh, challenge. And a very big thank you for to you and your fraternity, Sampoon, for what you've been doing uh, during the last two three months. I think it's it's amazing. Uh, 
I mean, you guys Thanks are the, a lot for that. You know, you guys are the true heroes. So, so thank you very much. And the other thing is, uh, yeah, anyone out there who I've uh, started a new uh, online coaching site on uh, my own website, vibhasgupta dot com. So, you know, if anyone who is interested into cricket and yeah, just register and and let's have a conversation. Let's start. Uh, uh, you can ask me any question there. Uh, I'll be there to answer it. You know, and, and just check. I'm personally interested website. about cricket. <laughs> Yeah, anything about cricket? So check that website out. Beatles.com. Thank you, Sampun, for your time and uh, was lovely talking. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot. Yep, it was a pleasure to host you, sir. Thanks a lot.